Good morning, folks. Let's say goodbye to a couple solar tornadoes, and then we'll watch a massive plasma filament coming in. And while we watch these, know we've got a lot going on right now, and a lot to catch up with if you're needing to do so this weekend. By the way, these solar tornadoes are heading out of view, but the plasma dancing in on the southeastern limb will become a significant eruption threat in three days if it does not release beforehand. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, let's see the last 24 hours of our star. Not much happening once again. We're going to be mostly watching for coronal hole streams in the solar wind over the next five or six days. There was one lonely little pop on the disk within the northern active regions, but it's not clear if even a smidge of that ejected. Not a space weather concern, and neither is solar flaring. Low, and expected to remain there. Sunspot situation is not horrible, but the spots amassing on the north here, even the largest in the middle, lack any significant magnetic complexity this morning and are unlikely to make big flares. Take a look at the electron flux. Hit the floor. The magnetometer also showing a big space weather impact at Earth. And at the solar wind, we see the blip in the last 12 hours, but while density is now above average in the stream, the speed has only jumped back up to average, normal speed. This was one of the themes of my talks at Observing the Frontier. It's not just about magnitude of impact, it's about the change presented, the delta, which is why the disruption to our total magnetic protection is noticeable despite fairly normal solar wind, and also it helps that the magnetic character of the solar wind, the phi in blue, danced down a 180 for two straight days, and then spun round for the full 360 in a matter of three hours. That's always going to disrupt our field a bit. The coronal magnetic fields bent up and then back down, opening the northern positive IMF of the coronal holes to this area of the heliosphere. Earth has connected to that area, which is not terribly strong, but certainly worth mentioning. With those coronal holes set to face Earth today, and Saturn about 48 hours from conjoining our star, we may see more earthquakes above the magnitude 6 mark soon. Folks, a small and not very bright meteor was seen this week over Michigan. Strange lack of outbursting light with that. How about some ecological logistics? The original tight packing job done by Life on Earth has been analyzed, and it is incredible how forests do their sphere packing. Westerners know about the killer snowstorm in the western USA, but how about a similar event in China this week? Also had catastrophic rainfall in Maldives and Qatar, with the latter taking more than a year's worth of rain in just a few hours. We're always watching the low pressure in our top viewer locations, but let's also note a cyclone formation just south of the equator here. Next we jump to the Americas where Sandra approaches Mexico, while two high pressure earth spots squeeze a low between them in the continental US. That's where the rain will be in these areas. Over in Europe, we're seeing the large northern low and one in the Mediterranean. It's the hotter waters bringing the more severe storms. Folks, if you haven't seen our last three uploads, they are very worth watching. Two days ago, after the morning news, we posted our first OLR quake forecasting results. These links are found below this video, by the way, and on the homepage of suspiciousobservers.org. Then the highlights from our first conference were that night. It is getting censored all over the place, I believe due to the song, but I made it available as a free download at otf.cells.com, which is also where you can download the conference presentations themselves, in full or individually, and you can also get the digital copy of our book or pre-order the hardcover copy. All pre-orders to domestic buyers will arrive by Christmas, and as a reminder, for every pre-order by midnight tonight, $1 goes to the animals in need at World Heart. Lastly, if you didn't catch yesterday's morning news with the poll flip article, hop back there and check that out. We've got current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.